Hello everyone! Welcome to Stampin' Grotto. Today we are going to be creating this card together. Now this card does not fit in a standard A2 envelope. Uh, you can put it in a larger square envelope or you know hand deliver it or create you know put it in a box or there's lots of options but it does not fit in a standard A2 envelope. Although the card size itself is a standard A2. So to make this card, we are going to be using some Orchid Oasis cardstock, some of the Orchid Oasis designer series paper that is currently available, some Orchid Oasis ink, as well as some basic white paper for stamping, uh, some rhinestone gems, some glue, um, and some basic white cardstock for the inside of the card. Now this does have a belly band on it and it is a fun fold card so it does create a little bit of extra um, thickness for it so not only does it not fit in a standard size A2 envelope but it's also a bit thicker. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my paper trimmer and some of the Orchid Oasis cardstock. And along the long edge, we are gonna cut this to five and a half by 11. So 11 inches by five and a half inches. And we are going to score this piece at one and three quarters, five and a half, and nine and three quarters. And then using some of the leftovers, we are going to cut a strip that is one inch by 11 inches. And this is going to create our belly band. So we are gonna turn this around and we are gonna score this at three and a half inches and then seven and seven eighths of an inch. And then we're going to take one piece of our six by six inch designer series paper. You can do this with really any designer series paper. And we're gonna cut this one piece to three and a half by five and a quarter. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this down to five and a quarter because we're gonna use the majority. Put that to the side. I'm gonna flip this around. So this is five and a quarter inches this way. And I'm gonna cut this to three and a half by five and a half, or three and a half by five and a quarter, sorry. So three and a half. And then I'm gonna cut one piece to one and a half by five and a quarter. And then this last piece should be one inches by five and a quarter inches. So let's go ahead and fold our card. So I'm gonna grab my bone folder and we are gonna fold this a couple of different ways. So this piece is gonna fold this way. And then we're gonna fold this way. I'm just trying to make sure that all of my edges line up. And then this piece is gonna fold back over this way. So now, with our designer series pieces, I'm going to flip this one over this way. You can do this however you want, but for our purposes, I'm going to do this this way, and then this piece, I'm going to put this way, and then this piece, I'm going to put this way. So it goes together just like that, and I'm just going to use some of my multi-purpose glue. So this piece again is going, this is going to be the back. And then this piece folds over this way and this piece is going to go this way.
just like this. So there's the front of the card. I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to grab a piece of basic white and I'm just, I keep a bunch of these cut in my stash. So this is cut to four and a quarter by five and a half. So I'm just going to cut a quarter inch off of one short side and one long side. So this is going to go on the inside of my card. So just like this. I'm going to do a little bit of stamping on this, so we're going to hold off on that. So let's work on our stamping. Okay, so I'm just putting down uh, a piece of grid paper so that I have a basis to stamp on and I don't stamp on my work surface. So I'm grabbing another piece of basic white because I want to stamp these flowers so that I can die cut them out. So I'm going to use some of the Orchid Oasis ink and this stamp from the True Beauty stamp set. So this stamp here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp one solid, just like that. And then I'm going to stamp two more where I stamp off. And then I am going to take these leaves. This is another stamp from the same stamp set. I'm going to ink them up and I'm going to stamp off twice. And I'm going to stamp these three times as well. So just like that. And then for the inside of the card, I am just going to use this same flower stamp. And I'm just going to stamp in two of my corners, just like that, just to give a little bit more depth to the inside of my card. And then the last thing that I'm going to stamp is the Just Because stamp. So this is also from the True Beauty stamp set. I'm just going to ink that up and I'm going to stamp that roughly in the center of the center piece of my belly band. So just like that. So I'm going to grab my die cut machine and we are going to die cut these images. using the matching dies. So these are the organic beauty dies. And I'm just going to use a piece of washi tape to hold these in place while I die cut. Okay, so let's go ahead and assemble our card. So this is for the inside. So I'm just going to put a little bit of liquid glue on the back of that and then I'm just going to try and center it. In there. So this folds like this. To create our belly band we're just going to fold on our score lines. I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to put a little bit of glue right here and then a little bit of glue on this side and making sure that everything is lined up. I'm just going to press those together. So that becomes our belly band to hold our card closed. So it'll fit on just like So to create this, we are just going to layer some of these stamped die cuts 
onto our belly band. So I'm just laying them out in the manner that I think that they will go together. And then I'm gonna glue the pieces together. And then I'll glue them on here. So this one is just going to go on here like this. And then this one is just going to go on here like this. All right, so there we have that. So all that I have left is adding some decoration to the front of this. So I'm gonna do that on the belly band only. And I'm just going to use my take your pick tool. And I'm gonna grab some of my rhinestones and I'm just going to put, to start, three in the center-ish of each of the flower die cuts. And then I'm also going to put a couple on the front of the card. So there we have our finished card. And you can honestly set these up however you want, however works best for you. Uh, this time I made it a little bit smaller so it's not as wide <laughs> this way uh, as this one turned out. Uh, but this is going in a parcel so it, it's just gonna lay on top. It doesn't matter for my purposes. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. Uh, as always, if you are interested in seeing more, I would really like it if you could like and subscribe. And I will link everything, like I said, in the description below that I used. So if you are interested in purchasing any of these products, you can purchase them through me as an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. So thanks, everyone.